To optimize your camera for fireworks, there are a couple things you can do. One thing, like many other scenes, is simply turn your mode dial to SCN. This stands for Scenes. And in here, you get a menu with a lot of different scenes. You have 24 different scenes you can choose from. If you go to the second page, you can use your zoom lever, pull it to the right, and then either use the quick menu joystick or your navigation buttons to move around until you get to fireworks. Choosing fireworks will optimize the camera. It chooses a long quarter of a second shutter speed and it chooses the best white balance and ISO for you. Just go ahead and press set and you're basically ready to take the picture. Even the focusing is already preset to infinity. Just press the shutter button halfway and you'll see that the autofocus indicator is green, meaning the picture is in focus and ready to go. Down here you can see the ISO is set to 80, which is fine, but I don't have any control over my white balance. And that may be okay for fireworks. You don't need to set it to a particular color temperature, but you can enhance the colors in the fireworks if you want to. If you choose to use this mode, keep in mind that a quarter of a second is a very, very long shutter exposure and you won't be able to very simply handhold the camera. If you don't have a tripod with you to set the camera down, you can try setting the camera down on something else and just point up. If you hold the camera very steady and prop your hands against something else, then you may be able to handhold a quarter of a second. If a quarter of a second isn't long enough and you want to get really long string effects out of the moving fireworks, then what I would recommend doing is don't use this mode but instead change your mode dial to S. S stands for shutter priority and this will allow you to set a shutter speed that you want and the camera will choose the right aperture and everything else. Remember we're shooting fireworks and focusing will be very very difficult so what I would recommend doing is just using the manual focus and set it to infinity. Let's go ahead and do that with your focus switch right here, just move that down to MF. And in the back, you can use your quick menu joystick to go all the way up until it's set to infinity. Now, using the quick menu joystick again, I want to go to the left in order to highlight my shutter speed, and then go down to slow down the shutter speed until I get to about two seconds. This should be a nice long shutter speed so you can get that brilliant effect out of the moving fireworks. Make sure your ISO is set to 80. Just press the quick menu button for a second until the menu comes up. Move over to ISO and move the joystick down or up to get to 80. And if you're done, go ahead and press set. There's just one more thing I want to make sure is set right. If I move over to white balance, you can set this to daylight and this will get you very accurate colors out of the fireworks. But if you want to enhance those colors, if you want to make the reds more red, then you can choose shady or cloudy in order to warm up the tones in the lights. I'm going to stick to daylight for now and just press the button to escape. Now I've got my two second shutter speed selected. My manual focus has been set to infinity. My white balance is set to daylight and my ISO is set to 80. All I have to do now, because I'm using a very, very long shutter speed, is set the camera on a tripod. That'll help a lot. Again, if that's not possible, then set the camera down and try not to hold it too tight. You don't want to set something like the two-second timer mode so you can let go of the camera because the two-second timer mode won't let you time the fireworks properly. So basically, because timing is of the essence, what you're going to have to do is press the shutter button halfway, Remember the focus is set manually so you don't have to wait. Compose the image the way you want it. And as soon as the fireworks explode, press the shutter button the rest of the way to take the picture. Remember, hold the camera very, very steady. Try and lean up against a light post or a wall. Again, tripods are absolutely the best, but if it's not available, then press the camera against the wall and hold it as steady as possible. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.